Pick it. Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here, and we finished Disgaea 4 Promise Revisited for like 12 times. <laughs> and now we're ready to finally begin the post game in earnest, and the first step to doing that is unlocking the mount or the uh, the. I didn't mean to go this way specifically, but that's fine because we got plenty of mana. We are going to open the gate to Mount Ordeal. Uh, as you can see from the approval rating, it's uh, kind of hard to do, even in the end game, or even in the post game rather. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab a one of each. Uh, One of each weapon type here, just in case a, uh, a certain uh, special senator shows up. Because they can totally make or break the vote. It's, uh, it's kind of a thing. Alright, that's all the items. Let's see how the vote goes. Just barely in favor. Alright. So yeah, that uh, that opens up the gate. Let's move. Training, Mount Ordeal. You can see there's a there's a very big dragon uh, going through this area. Also, a lot of level 100 characters. We're just gonna breeze right on through this. I'm going. Time to bust some balls.
Uh, wait. Hey, Flan, why is your, uh, why is your HP so low? That's a little odd. Teal's HP is a little low too. Uh, I guess I should have stopped at the hospital. Here I go. Yeah. I'll do my best. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> he was a well-hidden ninja. So yeah, that's that level. I think I'm gonna heal and do one more just because we can. I mean, you guys don't want to watch a 15 minute video, right? Moving on. Mount Ordeal 2. Got a... Whatever these buildings are called, and there's our dragon buddies going on up. The, yeah. The geoblock effects are a thing. I'll show you sardine power. I'll show you. We can take a little bit of time. Actually, wait, that's not right at all. Yeah! Here I come! We can take a little bit of time out of our busy day to, uh, to stack up that uh, geocube on the blue area. See where it gets us, you know. Please follow me. Now we can do this. It uh, isn't quite hitting everybody. There we go. Well, that doesn't hit everyone either, but you know what I want to do. Blade Annihilation! There isn't really much to say in the way of strategies for this place. It's just kind of blast dudes until they die. I think, though, I should bring out Stella. Just so Measle has a bit of an easier time with his fire based shenanigans. <laughs> we can get Stella, but it helps. Wow, uh, Stella stole all the kills, huh? Naruto! Uh... I mean, you know, it's not gonna be perfect. Don't one. And 
And that is that map. Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4, Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we did half of the Mount of Ordeals. In this episode, we're going to do the other half. And the reason I did not do it all in one go is because Mount Ordeals 3 is a doozy. Especially if you've got low level characters. This, this right here, these silence panels, are the big problem. Here I go. Now, if the stage were smaller, you could just cheese it with the measle like I'm about to do. I'm so Ranged attacks are pretty great. Clearly that is not going to fly with the, with Flan and her non-elemental attacks. So, let's show off Artina's Cluster Launcher. Simply beautiful. Eh, that was not enough for a kill though, so let's have Flan finish the job. Boink. Alright, now that, that is taken care of. Take this. The next step is to get somebody like, for example, Valvatores or Rutil over to where the zombie tiles are. Some balls. Val is especially good because his a uh, special because his a uh, special attacks restore HP. But you might be asking yourself, "Oh no, I'm silenced. I can't use special attacks." Worry not, dear person, because this dragon has you covered. Ally move damage uh, Ally move damage panels are kind of scary, but uh, as long as you remember to bring a healer over, it's not really that bad. So yeah, just uh, just park somebody on the yellow panels and go to town. Like so. Flan might want to <clears throat> get over there too and heal some dudes, but uh... first we're going to make sure she can move on her turn. somebody with ranged attacks is a really good idea. Oh, uh, Flan did not learn Espoir. I kind of forgot about that. Right. 
Grace Omelette. Whoop, oh, here some, come some guys from behind. Martina can handle them, though. Unless she falls asleep. Dang it, Artina. This is just not going well. been good to uh, to bring some fairy powder along. I don't know. Ooh, that was a lot of damage to fly. And the dragon got in the way of that <laughs> attack animation. It's pretty great. Oh, a measle can move, okay. Okay, now that Flan's finally awake, let's do some emergency healing. Fortunately for us, Flan is really good at healing. Naruto! Now then, let's bail, uh, let's bail Rutile and Stella out of the silliness that is going on over there. That's kind of sort of what we have to do right now. Let's kind of totally forgot that the uh, that the dragons have a uh, paralyzing attack, or the zombies have paralyzing attacks. But uh, yeah, they have them. You probably don't want to move too far while you're uh, while you're on these damage tiles. Measle makes uh, short work of the your moth, so. At least until somebody gets put to sleep. Gets uh, put to sleep, you know. Like a measle. 
Excuse me, Mr. Buddy. You got spells to cast. So let's put a Mega Wind on them. Was that succubus named Vive? <laughs> this guy is looking a couple of years into the future, I think. Anyway, yeah. Uh, can get rid of this and uh, plan your operations a little bit. It's just a level 320 dragon. You know, nothing to worry about. I pretty much uh, relied on Val and Desco for uh, this my first time through. guys can lay over here for the uh, inevitable swarm of them. Actually! Actually, a measle! You can't hit that. Dang it, a measle. I thought I could count on you for something magical. But I was wrong! And then you fall asleep again. Here I go! Here I go! Are you okay? Yeah, ha, here I come! This looks like a job for rune dimension. Alright, now the dragon is safe to walk around on. Three, four, five, six. That's not going to work. I may end up having to. That's a, that's a big height difference. Actually, that might not even work. Might have screwed myself over because I don't have Desco. Oh well, we can have our. Uh, we can have our high attack power crew just uh, blast through the rest of the guys, I guess. him like up here. No, then you would just have range problems.
just so stupid. Alright, Artina, you are going to lure everybody over this way. <laughs> that is what you were going to do. You too, Rutil. Then the measle can blast them. Actually, it's better to use wind on these guys. Like so! These guys have ridiculous range. On, the, on their basic attacks. It's like, whack. on a couple extra levels just because I can. Just leaves that last one. Yeah. All right, we're gonna need another lift and throw. I was not expecting that to be an 18 and a half minute video, but uh, it sure was. So let's take a look at Mount Ordeal 4 because thankfully this one is really short. Mr. Dragon and 13 Gargoyles, that's all this is. Got an attack plus 50% here if you need it, but here's actually a really easy way to do this. Just make sure uh, Val and Desco are both around like level 300-ish. Magic changed them together, so Val has access to final boss setting, which again is just the best ability ever. Get ready. And surround him with his friends. Uh, for maximum effectiveness, have one of them be Artina. This is my best move. And as long as you have about 20,000 attack, uh, Tyrant Flugood should uh, do the trick. Really easy, and we don't even have a. We don't even have Big Bang yet. And of course, since uh, Desco can magic change with just about anybody, the same logic applies to everybody. Just use the special attack that has enough range to do the trick. That is how you grind in Tower of Ordeals 4. 
Now, if you'll excuse me for a minute, I am probably going to grind everybody until uh, Fenric is able to learn Big Bang. Once you get a guy with about 20,000 attack and Big Bang uh, level 3, you should be good to go for all of your grinding needs, at least uh, for a couple thousand levels. While I'm doing that, I'm probably going to uh, max out everybody's movement and throwing in the Kara world. And when I am done with that, when I'm done with that, we'll be ready to start the side stories. I hope to see you all then. Bye-bye for now.